And uh, thank you everyone for joining the session. It's never easy to find time on a Friday evening and I truly appreciate all of the very distinguished guests finding the time to speak to us. Wonderful session last one hour or so. Ashok, uh, you know, I, I accept the honor of uh, following in your very big shoes as difficult as it is to fill them. But uh, the way you talked about the history, the legacy, the purpose of the U Chambers and educating us, I really liked the way you spoke about nurturing incubating relationships. And we saw that theme in multiple different ways through Sunil's uh, talk and Amit's talk. Um, and we will hope to continue doing that because as we all know, relationships are the key to success in many, many ways. Uh, on a personal note, Ashok, thank you for clearing the runway of all the past obstacles and the debris and uh, clearing the runway for me to take charge. I appreciate your leadership of the U Chambers and we look forward to keep having your informal guidance in the next years to come. Ambassador Chen Sen, um, your talk was both informative and inspiring. Slovenia's response to the pandemic, uh, you talked of multiple best practices that I think many countries around the world can learn from, not the least you talked about liquidity, efforts around restarting the economy and uh, all the positive indicators that I've read in the news and you talked of a few of them indicate success around Slovenia's response. Uh, I liked the uh, emphasis you laid out on new opportunities because that's important as we look forward you picked on a few, supply chain, um, education, digitalization, and certainly we hope we can, not just hope, we will use the EU Chamber's offices to fast track some of those collaborations between India and the EU. So Neil, uh, wonderful, wonderful talk on the uncertain world ahead of us. And whether it's demand, whether it's uh, capacity utilization, the new business models, all of these, this is new charter for many, many of us, including you and many people on this call. Um, we are really, as you said, rebuilding for the future, rebuilding for the longer term. I like the phrase you use, uh, flexibility is the new normal, because there is, uh, we don't know what the future will look like. We can, of course, convert the uncertainty into a risk model. And that's what I think uh, you at Siemens is doing and many of us are at least trying to do. We can be victims of circumstances uh, and claim everything is uncertain or we can model the future using a risk-based approach, which is what you were alluding to in your conversation with us. Sir. Amit, your, uh, you know, the Paytm story is a great story of success. Uh, you give examples of banks from China who've done tremendously well in four years, but I think somewhere around the world today, Someone has given an example of Paytm having done just that in India in very, very few years. Yeah. So congratulations on your success, on your company's success. The four mega trends you talked about are as applicable to the financial sector as they are to many other sectors. Uh, and many, many constituents from, the, from those sectors are on this call today. So they would have, uh, they would have learned a lot from you. So once again, thank you all the speakers today. I appreciate your time. It was a lot of learning for me personally and everyone else on this call. Good luck uh, for the future.